A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away. And in a galaxy close, there were wars of the stars. And there was a team sent out to seek new life, to boldly go where no man had ever gone before. Their ongoing mission to seek out new life and go where no man or woman has ever gone before. See, I'm one of those weird nerds that likes both Star Trek and Star Wars. So, since I'm not going to be discriminatory, I'm going to, you know, I am going to review these two games. I just got this one today, and I've had this one for a while. So, uh, this one, I guess, might be easier. I don't know. So, I'll just start with the one on the bottom. We have Star Wars X-Wings Miniature Game, which, it's... Basically, you have asteroids, you got these different chips, you got these different ships. I have a special chip because I got, found today a TIE, a different a tie, uh, mini TIE fighter, Inquisitor's TIE fighter, I think, and uh, that's that expansion. And uh, we can get a bunch of cards, hero cards, pilot cards, a bunch of dice, more dice. And it's called X Wing, but they got like all kinds of ships now involved. Uh, Here's just a look at some stuff that you can get for it. You can get X-Wing Expansion Pack, TIE Fighter Expansion Pack, Y-Wing, TIE Advanced. That's what this is, TIE Advanced. Uh, I think that's uh, Here's a quick start rules. That's a pretty complicated game. They even have tournaments and stuff. Not really my, not really my fave, but I will show the rules to everybody. Here's the rules. I like miniature games, but I actually like miniature games because of the miniatures, not really because of the games themselves. Most of the time, the games themselves are fairly complicated with lots of rules and stuff and uh they actually have a star trek star wars armada game uh which and they have other star wars uh games they have um i mean they have the bigger one Not Armada, the other Star, the, it's like Star, they have a Star Trek Captains, uh, anyway, they have a Star Trek game, that I can't think of the name of it, that's similar to X-Wing, and then Star Wars also has a bigger version of X-Wing, so X-Wing's like, and, while they're made by the same company, Fantasy Flight, uh, I don't know, I don't exactly believe, I believe they're compatible, but most people don't know. Anyway, a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, 
It's a period of civil war against all odds. The Rebel Alliance defeats the tyranny of the evil Galactic Empire. Through the Imperial Navy vastly outnumbers the Rebel fleet, the Alliance holds out hope that the actions of a few brave pilots can change the fate of the galaxy. X-Wing is a fast-paced game of tactical space combat in the Star Wars universe. Players control starfighters from either the Rebel Alliance or the Galactic Empire, outwit them with a variety of pilots, special weapons, and upgrades in an attempt to outmaneuver their opponents. This box contains everything two players need to get started playing X-Wing, including plastic painted ships, custom die cards, tokens, and quick start rules. Advanced rules and special missions are also included to let players take this game to the next level. Man your ships, and may the force be with you. So, uh, that's a uh, Star Wars X-Wings miniature game. Captain, engineering reports ready for launch. And here's... Maneuvering thrusters, Mr. Sim. Just for fun, here's Captain. a spaceship. Engineering Star reports Trek. ready for launch. Arm phases fire everything we've got. And I got a couple more ships. Uh, I'll show you some more ships after I do the game reviews. Here's Star Trek Five Year Mission. You get to uh, cooperative game for three to seven crewmates by David D. Witcher. Uh, you get to um, your five year mission aboard the USN Enterprise is ready to begin. You choose the classic Star Trek Enterprise. NCC-1701, or the Star Trek Next Generation's NCC-1701D. Which will it be? Alert, you and your fellow crewmates must cooperate to resolve dangerous situations that threaten to destroy your ship. If you fail, you lose. S solving threats is the way you score. Each crewmate has a unique ability. Uh. Excuse me. These abilities can help. The team solve alerts and use your skills wisely to give your crew the best chance to success. So which is is your crew, the original series or the next generation? So we'll open this and check it out. You have you have the next generation enterprise. And on the other side you have the other hair and the original hairs. It's a dice game. This is a, a Cleon bench thing I got, which is right, right there, which is right there. Uh, it's cool. It didn't come with the game, but it's cool. Um, Here's the cards of all the different crewmates you can be. So, uh, 
So uh, that's um, Star Trek Five Year Missions and Star Wars X Wings Miniature Game. And um, uh, like I said, I have more ships and stuff. There's the Death Star, Micro Machines, and up there there's Enterprise. TNG. There's Yoda, Spock too. There's some. There's some Star Destroyers and some and Millennium Falcon, Tree Box. Uh, there's um Firefly Yahtzee. There's a couple of mask vehicles. Some Star Wars stuff, Hunter Foundation Batman, Deadpool figure, some Power Ranger stuff, Spot Cups, some Star Trek Cups, some cool stuff like that. And, uh, like I said, got some more Star Trek and Star Wars stuff. Here's some Star Trek marbles. Here's a nice little Star Trek ship. There's that, which is over there. Here's another Star Trek ship. It, it broke, I had to put it together. There's a Micro Machine TIE Fighter. Now basically in here there's X wings, Millennium Falcons, squares, these are all pretty neat. Here's a, another Star Trek. Uh, most of the ships are Star Wars. I don't know the same as Mutant Ninja was either. Millennium Falcons. Different metals. Got a hit ship. Another turtle. Here's some tile fighters. So, uh, there's uh, that stuff. Uh, And, uh, so a few more things if you can see them. Star Wars helmet. Um, some Star Wars cups. Various stuff in my room. Um, so everybody, uh, <coughs> tell me which one you like best, Star Wars or Star Trek. Tell me uh, which military from both groups you like best. What's your favorite faction from both groups. Uh, your favorite ship from one group. And uh, pretty much who'd win if the two universes collided and attacked and uh, fought each other. Personally, I believe the Star Wars has the best on-ground forces. And uh, their on-ground forces would literally decimate the Star Trek forces, which on-ground just... Oh, suck. But Star Trek, on the other hand has probably the best ships and their forces would utterly probably space fleets would probably destroy um the others now 
If you know any other sci-fi series, like, for example, Babylon 5, that you think would be better than both of them, which, honestly, I kind of think Babylon 5 is better than both, um, or any other sci-fi series, um, write down your favorite uh, sci-fi series. Uh, Farscape's a pretty cool series. Um, uh, name a... Mm, sci-fi series you think's on par to these two uh science fiction or science fantasy this is science fantasy i believe and this is kind of considered science fiction there's a slight difference this one's based on mostly movies but now they got a bunch of tv shows too and this one's based on tv shows but they got a lot of movies too now too so everybody have a great day and live long and prosper uh don't forget to be the way of the warrior be a cleon think logically but also be a warrior this is a good day to play a board game uh also may the force be with you what I mean, there is no try, there is do or do not. Um, join the dark side, we have cookies and all that cool stuff. So, everybody have a great day and keep on living sci fi. And keep on being cool geeks. Later, guys.